one of your names, at least in this space and time, is C, like the letter C. And and you told me that C means a lot of things. It's the speed of light. It's the render rate of the universe. It's yes in Spanish. It's the crescent moon. And it happens to be my favorite programming language because it's uh, it basically runs the world, but it's also powerful, fast, and it's dangerous because you can mess things up really bad with it because of all the pointers. But anyway, which of these associations uh, with the name C is the coolest to you? I mean, to me, the coolest is the speed of light, obviously, or well, speed of light. When I say render rate of the universe, I think I mean the speed of light yeah. because essentially that's ha what we're rendering at. See, I think we'll know if we're in a simulation, if the speed of light changes, because if they can improve their render speed, then... <laughs> well, it's already pretty good. It's already pretty good. But if it improves, then we'll know, you know, we can probably be like, okay, they've updated or upgraded. Well, it's fast enough for us humans because it seems like, um, it seems immediate. There's no delay. There's no latency in terms of like us humans on earth interacting with things. But if you're like, uh, like intergalactic species operating on a much larger scale, then you're gonna start noticing some weird stuff. Or if you can operate in like around a black hole, then you're gonna to start to see some well, render like, issues. You can't <laughs> go fast in the speed of light, correct? So it really limits our ability or and it's one's ability to travel space. Theoretically you can, you have wormholes. So I, there's nothing in general relativity that uh, precludes faster than um, speed of light travel. But it just seems you're gonna have to do some really funky stuff with uh, very heavy things that have like weirdnesses that that have basically tears in space time. We don't know how to do that. Do navigators know how to do it? Do navigators? Yeah, yeah. Folding space, basically that, making wormholes. So the name C. Yes. Who are you? <laughs> Are you, are you? Do you think of yourself as multiple people? Are you one person? Do you know, like in the, this morning, were you a different person than you are tonight? We are, I should say, recording this basically at midnight, which is awesome. Yes, thank you so much. I think I'm about eight hours late. No, you're right on time. Good morning. This is the beginning of a new day soon. Anyway, uh, are you the same person you were in the morning and the evening? Do you, you're you're. Is there multiple people in there? Or do you think of yourself as one person? Or maybe you have no clue? Or are you just a giant mystery to yourself? Okay, these are really intense questions, but... Uh... <laughs> let's go, let's go. Because I asked this myself, like, look in the mirror, who are you? People tell you to just be yourself, but what does that even mean? Uh, I mean, I think my personality changes with everyone I talk to. So I, I have a very inconsistent personality. Yeah. Person to person. So the interaction, your personality... Or, or, or my mood. Like I'll I'll go from being like a megalomaniac to being like, you know, just like a total hermit who is very shy. So some combinatorial com combination of your mood and the person you're interacting with. Yeah, mood and people I'm interacting with. But I think everyone's like that. Maybe not. Well, not everybody acknowledges it and able to introspect it. Who brings out, what kind of person, what kind of mood brings out the best in you as an artist and as a human? Can you introspect this? Like my best friends, like my like people who I can, when I'm like super confident and I know that they're gonna understand understand everything I'm saying. So like my best friends, then w when I can start being really funny, that's always my like peak <laughs> mode. But it's like, okay. yeah, it takes a lot to get there.